This is from a fool who stares at his orange juice every morning. It says concentrate on the box. <laughs> who the dummy now? Shit. Me for not wearing a condom. I don't know if you saw this pop up last week, but uh, Seth MacFarlane, king of the blacks, I mean, progressive king, Seth MacFarlane has launched a new show, okay? It is a remake, allegedly, of Good Times. Now, good, the, it does not appear to be a remake at all. And everybody disliked that. I mean, it is watching like woke people destroy Seth MacFarlane's weird reboot of Good Times has been amazing. What's so weird about it is I, when I first saw it, I was like, there's no way black people worked on this. There is 0% chance black people actually worked on this. No shot. No way. But they did. They did. JB Smoove. I, I, I guess I don't want to, I don't want to prejudge. Maybe that's not a, a black in, uh, individual. Yvette Nicole Brown. I don't know who that is. Jay Farrow. I know. Slink Johnson. Marsai Martin. And Wanda Sykes, I know Wanda Sykes, starring irreverent. Oh, wait, it's been a while since I've been able to do this. Reimagining. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. Reimagining. Wait, that's wrong too. Reimagining. Yeah, <laughs> there it is. It's been so long. A reimagining of the TV classic Good Times, which apparently has a drug dealing baby. And um, other insane tropes. Looking at some of the comments, I wrote, no way any black people worked on this uh, because they're so stereotypes. He took a classic and made it trash. Clifton Duncan, no. Some of the more thoughtful replies was, uh, the goal of the original Good Times was to show, was to disrupt the flow of negative stereotypes about black families. This remake does the opposite. It promotes and amplifies the most negative stereotypes of black families. Where is the irreverent remakes of All in the Family, Happy Days, Leave it to Beaver, I Love Lucy? Well, hey, go ahead and, I mean, make all the irreverent remakes you want of those. I'm not watching them because I know they'll be woke trash. Every time woke people try to, like, virtue signal to the black community, it just comes across super racist. Like, this kid's wearing a gold pacifier necklace. And, like, it is... The whole thing is a stereotype. Every aspect of this show is a, is a black stereotype. Oh, they're in the strip club. They have a drug-dealing baby. They've got, you know, people doing, I don't know, drive-bys. I mean... This looks like a woke boondocks. Like, it is so bad. You can even go to The Root, which is like this uh, kind of a lefty website that focuses on quote-unquote black stuff. Now, I don't know if my 2% black viewers can weigh in here, but my guess is black folks do not, uh, what do they say? They don't, they don't frick with this show. The drug dealing baby also is a ripoff of a Dave Chappelle skit. I think from Killing Him Softly, I think that stand up, which is one of the best ever. In the words of Florida Evans, damn, damn, damn. That was Black Twitter's first few reactions to seeing the trailer for Netflix's new animated reboot of Good Times. Premiering Friday, April 12th, the series follows a new generation of the Evans family as they thrive and survive in a housing project. In Chicago, the star-studded voice cast includes J.B. Smoove as a patriarch cab driver, Reggie Evans, Yvette, I don't really know who any of these people are. Maybe they're popular in black cinema, or black comedy, black TV shows. I don't know. Um, Jay Farrell is their artist son, Jr. 
Marseille Martin as an activist daughter. So the daughter's an activist. And Gerald St. Johnson as the drug dealing baby Dalvin. So the girl's an activist. They have a drug dealer. I mean, they got to have a gangbanger, right? And then, um, then you have like the stereotypical Oreo black guy. You need that too, right? You need the Carlton character. So who's the Carlton ca- character in this? Because that would be basically all the black stereotypes, right? I wonder what it looks like on YouTube. Uh, <laughs> 30,000 downvotes. 30,000 downvotes. Comments still on. Animators, how many negative stereotypes do you want in the show? Producers, yes. By reading the comments, most of us all agree that this isn't what we want. If you've seen the movie Bamboozled, this is exactly what they were talking about. An all-black show starring black people going through black situations written by people who aren't black. Except they are all black. That's the worst part about it. They made sure they didn't leave out any negative stereotypes and the theme song that says everything black. As a young black person who loves animation and watched the original show, this hurts. I mean, there's, I'm surprised they haven't disabled the comments yet. Black people were better than this. Let's stop watching and glorifying this nonsense over and over again. Hey, I mean, I don't know who this show is for. I suspect it's not for me. I suspect as much. Since the trailer elicits literally no laughs, it's exploitative nature feels more pronounced. Producers and writers could have made the show without using the familiar name of a TV classic uh, to pop a number. Connecting this to good times was an unnecessary and unwanted, according to many on social media. And as you'd expect, using groundbreaking piece of black culture in the manner that got black Twitter riled up and no punches were pulled. Hey, I'm glad that no white people made this. You know, I, I'm just glad that this was, you know, headed up by, a well, actually Seth MacFarlane. <laughs> Seth MacFarlane made this. Many viewers took issues with the family's portrayal with one person writing on X. This is disrespectful and distasteful. They took a show that was based on solid, hardworking family into a cartoon caricature of black America, then tried to guise it with the show, Good Times, Shake My Head. Another user pointed out, that the family's presentation goes against everything the original stars wanted the Evans to be. Esther Raleigh, or is it Roll or Raleigh? I think I was too young for good times. Um, she risked everything, and when they killed John Amos off, she literally left the show. We can't keep spinning in faces like this. One user ready to skip the nonsense and bring back the animated series we've all been waiting for by posting. Nah, just give me the boondocks because they warned us about this. I mean, yeah. Now, never forget, I mean, Seth MacFarlane wants you to know that journalists are the bravest, most stunning and brave people on the planet. Here's another black person saying, well, I'm assuming they're black based on their profile photo. I'm not even shocked. When they first announced they were making a cartoon version of Good Times Reboot, it was a hard no. The garbage is animated minstrel show trying to fit in as many black stereotypes as he can about black people. Well, none of the black people getting paid said anything about it, right? None of these, none of the people seem to have any issue cashing the check. None of the people working on the show thought, hey, maybe this isn't a good idea. If you look at the guy that retweeted it, by the way, they hid a bunch of replies. They hid some interesting replies. The person that retweeted it, the trailer for the Good Times is out, an animated revival of the sitcom. This got 17,000 likes. Curious. Some of the replies. Hard pass. The essence of Good Times was a solid family working hard to make their lives better in a system of inequality. Nobody needs babies, kids mixed with a hood. Wait. Baby? Babies? Kids? I don't know what that is. Mixed with a hood rat mom, badass kids, and a fat sloppy dad. Bro, what the F? Whoa, I used to watch Good Times as a kid. Uh, Steph Curry should be ashamed to put his name on this ghetto mess. Stephen Curry, Norman Lear, Seth MacFarlane, 
nah, just give me the boondocks because they warned us about this. I can already tell this, quote, good times is a gross caricaturization of black family in the hood. I'll pass on this, and I don't expect most black people to actually be entertained by this. This is the kind of things boondocks were talking about. Disrespectful, distasteful. I was so relieved to open the comments as so many people felt the same way as me. I, hey, I feel the same way as you. I don't, <laughs> I have no idea. I think I saw some of the boondocks. I, I, I was not like, uh, I didn't watch a show a lot. I don't know what the boondocks references. You know, I, I don't know what the boondocks references. I just think it's hilarious that Seth MacFarlane, you know, tried to pander to the black community. Netflix tried to, you know, pander to the black community and it absolutely backfired. It's it's all hilarious to me. Every time these people try to pander, it just backfires and I absolutely love it. Apparently it's called pronounced Bebe's kids. My apologies on that. We'll see how badly this show does, but I suspect it will be an instant flop.